People don't appreciate that Leeds Station is probably one of the, outside London, one of the busiest stations in the UK. It has a daily footfall of 100,000 passengers and the utilisation of the southern entrance is supposed to relieve that pressure by circa 20%. So it's a massive investment by Leeds City Council, Network Rail and the ultimate client on this project which is West Yorkshire Combined Authority. The, the southern entrance opens up the southern side of the, the, the city, the financial sectors. Those that use Leeds Station will know that it's very constrained at the moment with access provided purely from the north side. So in terms of opening up the station using this new iconic entrance, it's a massive achievement and certainly from a, a Leeds City Council perspective and certainly a West Yorkshire Combined Authority perspective, they're extremely pleased at the capacity it will give to the station and its future capacity increases. The logistics of bringing all the materials up the river by barge, working in the constraints of two adjacent um, accommodation buildings, has been very challenging for the team. Every piece of equipment has been uh, installed via a tower crane, so all the piece of work that you see outside, every, all the steel work, all the cladding has been brought up by barges and lifted in. Internally the works were equally challenging. The building had to be fully sealed before we could start installing the escalators and the, the lifts and the electrical works. So in terms of installation of the lift shafts, and the escalator equipment. It went to very traditional styles of installation using block and pulleys, stuff that you wouldn't normally see on a construction site, but in terms of the way that the team have done that, bringing together the innovative ways of developing works and but delivering it in a safe manner over a two year construction period with not a single lost time incident is a fantastic achievement. It's certainly a project that is brings together the various facets of the strength of Kirillian as a business. You'll see through there that we had major heavy civil engineering works to get us out of the riverbed. In terms of the building itself, it's clearly it's a classic building project. It's got all the intrinsic parts of the building works, but obviously the key interface into the station. You'll see behind me the way that the building comes over the existing platforms, so the key interface there with rail, building and civils, all is nicely combined, and that's reflected in the project team. We have representation from our building parts of the business, civils parts of the business, and rail. Well, the obvious challenges are, are obviously the river and the fact that the, the preferred location for the southern entrance was, was the river itself, as you can see behind me. Um, but added to that, the, the tight location and, and the, the tower blocks either side of the river and the fact that the, the, there was a preference to keep traffic and construction traffic off the city centre loop. We had to identify a number of sites down the river where we could bring in construction materials and actually transport the materials up to site via the barges. Um, and then lift off and serve the construction site with the tower crane rather than using the road network in, on an already busy city centre loop. As well as that we've obviously got the live station which had to stay live during the normal working day to construct the, the actual footbridge over the railway lines we utilised in excess of 30 um, disruptive possessions where we, we took control of the railway. We actually powered down the overhead lines which allowed us to install the steel work and then obviously continue with the roof structure and the building over the live railway line. So all those things together um, proved a, a, a big logistical challenge as well as obviously the technical challenges of a building um, in the, uh, this, sort of, this sort of shape and this sort of, uh, for this sort of function. To actually, to actually install the piles um, we had to get a, a 15 ton piling rig up the river from Water Lane downstream up the river under various structures and into position to then carry out the installation of 24 number piles tight up against the Victorian arch. Um, to do this we looked at various options, we looked at floating pontoons which obviously had issues with stability. We eventually went for the, the option of, of a jack-up barge. Now jack-up barges are normally used offshore in big locations where in, for the installation of wind farms. We managed, this was originally dismissed due to the, the sheer size of the jack-up barges available and the tight structures that we had to navigate up the River Air. We managed to locate two jack-up barges that were suitable for this sort of works in this area. One was in the Falkland Islands and one was in Ireland. We managed to secure the jack-up barge from Ireland so that was brought into Water Lane um, just outside Leeds City Centre, constructed on the river there and then sailed up the river and, and uh, craned into position at this end. Um, we spent in excess of 10 weeks piling from that jack-up barge, but what the jack-up barge did was give us some sort of security. If the water level did rise, then it was simply a case of lifting the jack-up barge, getting that clear of the river and then de-risking it from that point of view. So we weren't at, uh, at the, the mercy of the river, if you like, at that point. We faced a number of challenges, obviously some of them are fairly obvious, but obviously 
from, from our own point of view, it's quite a relief to get to the end of the project knowing that we've managed to maintain a safe working environment for everybody who's worked on the project. We've had no lost time incidents, we've had no accidents or incidents in what has been a very, very high risk environment. I, th I, think, I think there's a sense of pride that you look back and you see what, what is undoubtedly an iconic structure for the centre of Leeds and it'll be here for a number of years to come and it's one of the, the first things you see when you drive in through one of the main arterial routes, you look up the river area and you do see the structure that's behind me here. I think it's a sense of pride certainly from both Carillion's perspective and from Network Rail.